Welcome to Presenter Media. My name is Kara Jones, and today I will be showing you how to use the Presenter Media Slide Clips Video Maker. This is a web application that is free to all Presenter Media subscribers. To get started, simply log into your Presenter Media account, and you can see in the background we do have our Presenter Media website up. On the upper right hand side, you can see Slide Clips Video Maker with an updated note. Go ahead and click on that link and it will take you to the Slide Clip Video Maker landing page. Now today I will be starting from a template. This is the fastest way to create a new project and we will be going over how to create a project from a blank presentation in a future video. In the middle of the page you can see our launching options. We have Slide Clips Online Video Maker. You can start from a template or from blank. If you click on templates, it's going to scroll you down to our brand new template layout options. These are all of the templates that we currently have in various dimensions and as we add more sizes, we will continue to expand this list. We are adding new templates every week. Since it is fall, we are going to use the Autumn Celebrate template. By clicking on this, it will launch the Slide Clip Video Maker project. and this will be the entire presentation available at your fingertips. Now, just by launching it, you can see that we have a whole user interface that is designed to look a little bit like PowerPoint. On the left-hand side, we have our slide management. So we have slides, the slide sorter, and the ability to add new slides, whether they are blank or from existing projects. We have our file button, which is to save or download our project. We have the, the project itself open on the large canvas in the middle of our screen. We have all of our insert options just to the right of that. Everything from slides from our slide library to custom uploads, my media, text boxes, title art, shapes and icons, clip art, animations, backgrounds, video backgrounds, and music files. We then have a quick text edit section, which we'll go over in this tutorial, and the ability to expand our layers. We also have our undo button, our zoom options, a quick help link, and the ability to send feedback to presenter media. Below this section, we have the timeline, which we'll go over in an advanced tutorial as well, and the ability to edit groups. All right, so let's get started. Again, as we're moving from the left, we have all of our slide options. This is where you can add or remove a slide at your discretion. So if you like the slides in the current presentation as they are, you can just leave them. However, if there's one that you wish wasn't there, we can go ahead and delete it just by clicking on the trash can on the slide. You'll get a little pop-up that says this is being deleted and cannot be undone. Click on OK, and now the slide has been deleted from your project. To add a new slide, simply click the little plus button and you can either add a blank slide or from existing projects or our slide library. So this is all of the slides that we created as custom projects somewhere else. And these are all of uh, my custom projects that I've done here lately. Or we can add one from the slide library. So we can just be able to grab that existing slide and it'll just pop right in there as the second object. If we choose to add a blank slide, this is going to add just a completely blank canvas. So there's nothing on here, there's no background or anything. And like I said in that uh, opening, we will be going over blank slides in a future video. The next thing to do is be able to edit any of this text. So we have Celebrate Fall and it says Autumn. Let's go ahead, instead of saying Autumn, let's say Harvest. starts today. So you can see the word harvest goes a little bit over the edge. When we have that text box selected, uh, we can go in and change the text itself. Or if we double click on it, we will open up the group and we can shrink it down a little bit to keep it fitting nicely. And click on closed and now it will be able to store right there. Now when we click on play, which is in the center bottom of the screen, 
you can see what the actual presentation ends up looking like. And this will end up saving out as a video file for you with all of this content in it. The next thing that we're going to do is start inserting objects. So you can see we have these three pumpkins in the foreground of our project. What we can do is we can right click and go to change element and this can change that pumpkin to any other object type. So we can do clip art. We can also change that with an animation. So if you want to look for, we already have a ton of leaves. Oh, I suppose we can look for a team. How about that? if we're talking about the harvest team. And this is all of the animations available through Presenter Media's website. So you're going to get an absolute ton of results on these kind of things. Let's do these two construction guys. So they will get inserted and you can see this just replaced the pumpkin. Now, interestingly, these items will still have all the same animations as the pumpkin. So we inserted them, they're still going to come in just like the pumpkin did with all the other timing. So you don't have to worry about going and changing any of the animations. And we will go into further detail on how to create your own animations in a project here in a future video as well. This is going to be part of a whole series. We have seven videos that we'll be uh, sending out throughout the next five days. If you don't want to change an item and instead you want to just insert a brand new one, you can click any of these insert options. So you have my uploads, which is anything that you've chosen to upload custom for the project. Um, so like if I wanted to, I can go to insert and upload an image. I can click on my desktop. And here's all those tutorials, like I said. So I made thumbnails for all of them. If I wanted to, I could insert that object and I could actually turn that into the background of my project if I wanted to. When you click on an item, you can right click and go down to set as background, um, and that will actually make the item turn into the background of the whole slide. I'm not going to do that because, well, you guys will get to see this thumbnail here uh, at the very beginning of the video that you're watching now. The next item we can add is my media. This is anything you have customized at presentermedia.com. So this is every single thing that I've customized in the last 30 days. I did make a video with some fun fall themed items and a couple of, uh, couple of blog posts about those. We can add title art, which is an animated title option. So these are items that when you insert them, they come in with their own animations already baked in and you can be able to change the text as you see fit. I did show a video of how to do this with our shareables and turn this into like your own Facebook post where you just click on one, any of these objects. It's going to insert that object and you can change the text on it immediately. It's very convenient. You can insert shapes, which are your basic shapes and icons. So think of these as illustrator files, um, items that you can be able to modify the color on. If you click on it, you can see the color option pops up at the top and you can just change it to whatever color you like. Click save and the color changes. One interesting fact is when you click on that color box, you can actually move your mouse off of it and find an item that you want to match the color exactly and click on that and it will change the color to match. So we do have that eyedropper tool. Next up we have, while we're editing these objects, you can change the opacity or the transparency by clicking on the little half moon here at the top. And that's just going to be a little slider bar that allows you to drag it up and down for the object. You can insert clip art images. Again, this is the entire Presenter Media clip art image library. So everything that you can find on presentermedia.com is going to be available to you here. Animations is the same situation where it's all of our animations. Backgrounds are going to be photorealistic backgrounds that are available to use on any of these slides. Now I will grab the second slide here, the autumn snapshot, and it's got a wood style background. If you can see that. And let's say we want to change the background instead of it being that wood style. Um, we want it to be the tree with the kind of the foggy background. When you insert a background, right click and go to set as background and it will automatically change out the background image for you. So that's how that takes care of that. Video backgrounds are the entire library of presenter media videos. And you can uh, include customizable content in here. We will go over custom content a little bit later, 
um, but you can be able to use any of these as your video backgrounds. So you can be able to have some really fun backgrounds uh, for this. We did get a couple new styles of backgrounds in, in the last month. So you can be able to really uh, have fun with it. So let's say we want these leaves. These already have a realistic, you know, rustling. Right click again, set as background. And now we actually have photorealistic leaves as the background. Last but certainly not least is music. And this is all of the available music background files that we have uh, by default. And you can select any of these and you can preview them by clicking on the little play icon here. And you can insert it by clicking on the plus button, which is going to add the music to your project. Once the music's been added to your project, it does stretch the entire length of your project, so this will play from the very beginning. And once your project has all of the elements in it that you chose to add or change, all you need to do is click on File, Save and Download, and the project will save out to your My Media, as well as provide you with a download link that you can download it directly to your computer and then save it to any of your preferred social media platforms. We do give you a recording time remaining that pops up up here. And once you see that time remaining pop up, you can actually close this window and actually exit out of this project if you choose and continue working on the Presenter Media website. That project will save in your My Media and you will be able to open it and download it from your My Media. So you're not trapped just living on that project page. So you can see in the background here, I do have all these other projects that uh, are just custom videos that I had uh, created here in the last week or so. And this presentation slide clip project is just gonna kinda keep working on in the background. And while that's working, I'm going to go ahead and work on making some other customized videos that I can upload to our social media. It has been a couple of minutes and I just checked back and my custom video is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and download it and let you guys take a look at what the finished product is. Now our videos do save out as 720p, so that means they will be easily viewable on mobile devices and on websites. This also allows them to have a smaller file size. All right, that was the getting started for Presenter Media's Slide Clip Video Maker. I hope this showed you the basics of how to use our templates and create your own project starting from our templates. The next video in this series will be creating your own project using a blank template and choosing different sizes for your projects. Thank you so much for staying with me for this tutorial and I will see you in the next video. This is Kara Jones with Presenter Media. Let's make great presentations.